Hello, everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be echoey in here. Oh well. So I got fitted for some new point shoes back while I was in Arizona and back in New York. If you recognize these studios. Um, I also have, so these are like my old shoes. Ella darned them for me. Thank you, Ella. So I'm gonna try these today, which these are like the original shoe. I think these are one X wider. No, 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 they're five X. Okay, so these are like my original shoe. The only difference is that Ella darned them. And then Jamie put me in a new shoe. It's actually like some girl's custom shoe um, that she grew out of and then they work on my feet really well apparently, which I think they do, so, but I'm gonna try them. I sewed them last night. They're like the only difference. So like these ones are six, five X of the stream point. And then these are six and a half, four X of the stream point. Oh, I think the difference is that the customization on these ones should be put like a half centimeter down. Oh my God, Tia, hi Tia. Hello, it's been a minute. I love when I see your name pop up. Hello, hello, ma'am. These are my point shoes, Tia. Are we so proud? Um, anyway, so the difference is that these have a slightly lower vamp. On the ones that I was using while I was in Arizona, I cut like a little slit right here to make the vamp even more open. And then I have another pair coming in the mail that has like a whole centimeter even lower than this. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. These ones are hard shank, these ones are medium shank. These are the new ones. I'm gonna do my old ones first. These are not broken in at all, but just so that you guys can see what it looks like before I try the new ones on. Happy birthday, Dina. The X is um, how wide it is. So yeah, these are 5X and then these are 4X. For reference, like Alexia is like a 3X. I feel like three to five is the most normal range of X, I believe. I'm not positive. Um, yeah, literally come to New York anytime. Like, you are always welcome. That would be so fun. Sorry, I'm YouTube living and TikTok living at the same time, so I'm trying to look at both comments. Anyways, okay, let me start putting these on. My toe pads are rank. I mean, what would you expect? Look at who my role models are. Um, do -do -do -do. Oh, the other day, while I was at Master Valley Academy, I lost my socks. I literally lost my socks. Here they are. They were inside the point shoe bag. Why I didn't, ch I literally, every dancer that was there that day, I was, they know I lost my, I literally had to wear my Pilates socks inside my sneakers. I, they were in the bag. I need help. Anyways, okay. That's so annoying. Okay, so inside my point shoe, I do big toe jelly thing big toe spacer and a pinky toe spacer because my pinky toe and my ring toe, I guess you would call it, are just trying to be BFFs, which is not well. I'm not going to put it on on camera because I don't really want my feet on the internet. Um, so yeah, just give me a sec. Let me just put the spacers on, get the toe pad on. I don't love wearing tights inside the shoe because I feel like I can't. It, it slips. I have a really bad disappearing heel, so if I wear um, tights inside my shoe, my hair disappear. Heel, heel. Okay, that's. I'm not gonna try to say that anymore. I also did not mark which one is left and right on these, so this might take a couple tries. Apologies in advance. Hope you're not doing anything this morning and you're just hanging out with me because I don't know how long this is gonna take. Okay, just roll that up. That actually feels right, so I might have gotten it right on the first try. I also have not cut these ribbons yet because I haven't worn these shoes yet. So I'll do, oh, I didn't bring my scissors. I will not be cutting the ribbons. They're going to look ridiculous, I promise. I know they're not supposed to look like this. I just, these are new shoes and I have not cut the ribbons. So they're just gonna have to look a bit silly for today, that's that. Okay, oops, hold on, let me turn off the joining live thing. Okay. Hi guys, welcome. I didn't think there'd be so many people in here. How long are you on point? So here's the thing. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you guys. I know online it looks like I dance a lot and now I do. But from the time when I first moved to New York to like last October, I genuinely was not taking that many classes. Like I, I travel so much for work. I was probably taking like 
four classes a month, like a class a week. Now though, since October, when I'm here at least, like when I'm in New York, I really have been trying to take a lot more classes. Like um, there's this one class that runs Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I try to go to almost every single one. And then I've been doing a lot more Pilates since like January. I started doing Pilates like at least four times a week. Again, when I travel, it's less. It's probably like two or three times a week because there's just not as much time. But yeah, so I've been trying a lot harder now, but like honestly, I would kind of giggle <laughs> like over the past like year and a half before October of last year. And people would be like, oh my God, you've improved so much. Cause I'm like, Jesus, have I? Cause I'm like not really taking any classes. Now when people say it, I'm like, okay, that's cool. Like what I'm doing is working. But like, I really wasn't dancing that much before. I was just kind of like, doing it for content. Now I'm like actually trying because I think it's fun and I really wanna get better for funsies. Okay, so these are the old shoes, completely unbroken. You do the master ballet academy bowl. And do that right, that's okay. Okay, yeah, these are stiff. So these are the old ones, these are the string points. I mean, they're both string points, but so my grievance with these is just the difficulty for me to push like through Demi. Like I don't know if you can tell, so my Demi kind of is like here, and then that's where the band stops. So like it's cutting into my foot quite a bit. So yeah, but I actually do think I like the darning on these a lot. Thanks, Ella. These slay. Like I feel like that actually helps quite a bit with like getting onto the box. Yeah. Okay, cool. So these are the old shoe. We'll kind of do like a little close up, show you how they look. So they're overall they're pretty solid. And these aren't broken in or anything. These are just like how they look. Right when being put on. They hit in a good spot for March for sure. Wow, the darning, I'm gonna have to start doing that to all my shoes. That's actually so helpful. It's like, it makes it so much easier to not roll back. Okay, anyways, now for the new shoe, which I also don't have left and righted, sorry. Hello, hello. Sorry, um, okay, so actually, I was going to, a little insider information. I was gonna have my first point shoe fitting by Josephine, um, cause I was heading to LA before Arizona, I think, or after Arizona. Uh, after Arizona, around the same time that I got my fitting from Jamie, but her schedule was so busy and I knew I wasn't gonna be in Arizona again for a while or LA. So I ended up going with Jamie, which I'm really happy that I did because it's kind of cute. Cause like Amber had her first fitting from Jamie and like all the NBA kids go to Jamie cause she's like 15 minutes from the studio. But I would really like to collab with Josephine at some point. Um, and do a point shoe fitting with her, definitely, because I think that would be a blast. But I am bummed it didn't work out the first time. It's just, we both had crazy schedules and she has a videographer and it, I couldn't, my schedule could not line up with her and her videographer. It was just like too short of like a time frame. Anyways, but I'm sure we'll try again at some point. Okay, I definitely sewed the elastics pretty tight on these ones. That's okay. Probably will be helpful to keep the heel on. Hello, hello. Sorry, I'm like, when they aren't supportive enough. Wait, what shoe do you wear? It's a Nikolai Stream Point. What time is it there? Uh, I'm in New York. I'm in New York time, so it's 11 a.m. Okay, other shoe. Okay, now that my shoes are on, I put my feet in frame. I definitely did make these quite tight, but we'll see, it should be fine. Sorry, I am so blind. I can't read the comments unless I look like this. Um, you're doing Esmeralda Dance with Point Shoes. What do you recommend? I don't know. Um, I'm better than you, Slay Bella. As you should be, honestly. I would hope that most people are better than me. I don't really take this that seriously. <laughs> also, I wanna make it super clear. I am not, nor have I ever stated that I am trying to be a professional dancer. Like, 
I am just trying to show the world that you can do this for fun without any like sort of intentions. Like my intentions are just fun. Like that really is just my, I'm not trying to like do anything with this. And like, if you are, that's great. Like do it, please. But like, I don't know. I get like a lot of weird comments like, oh, you'll never be a professional dancer. I'm like, I know <laughs> that was never the point. If that was the point, I probably would have started working on it a lot earlier, but I couldn't, so... Although, no, the thing is, is that not everyone has the privilege of growing up with a childhood where you can afford to do extracurriculars. I ha had the privilege of doing extracurriculars, but the further advanced you become in an extracurricular, the more expensive it gets, and I didn't have the privilege of going further in extracurriculars because we just couldn't afford it, and I'm fine with that because it led me down other paths, which I'm very happy on, but I think the important thing is that when you're an adult and you have adult money and you can afford it and you want to do it, just do it. Why is there like age limits on happiness? down because I know the comments kind of block it. thank you that was very sweet youtube people are so nice like listen tiktok like i love y'all because i'm on both right now just to be on the platform but youtube people are so nice like the youtube community i love you guys the support for my journey okay now tiktok's popping on thank you sandra thank you jenny lynn that was very sweet i just like i'll like go into my youtube comments and someone's like left me 25 dollars in the comments just be like love your journey like keep doing what you're doing i'm like Thank you, like that's a ballet class, so I will keep doing what I'm doing, like I appreciate it, it's so nice. Okay, I quite like these. What do you guys think? I'll read the comments for a second. Let me know your thoughts if you like the first or the second one's better. What's your story? I only saw some videos. I'll give like a super brief story in just a sec. Let me just read some of these comments. I am having fun, thank you. Dog Defender, I like that username, hello Sophia. Um, when did I start? Okay, so let me give you, like, my brief story. I have it. I don't even know if I've, like, I need to do a podcast or something so I can just start, like, linking people to my full story. Because it's, like, the in detail, it's long. But in short, basically, grew up with a single mom um, in Arizona, in Chandler. And, like, I did every extracurricular I could try, like, under the resources we had. So I've tried gymnastics. I tried dance when I was like in fifth grade. I did figure skating for two years. I did, um, God, what else? Um, so like, so, let me say, so it went, the order of it went gymnastics, like tumbling gymnastics, not like true gymnastics. And then I did figure skating and then I did dance and then I did softball. Or no, then I did gymnastics in between that again. And then I did softball 
And then when I stopped softball, I was in high school. I think I did nothing for a year. God, it all seems so long ago. And then I started dance because at my school, you had to take marching band, dance, or PE. I chose dance because I was like, slay dance. Like, I don't want to run a mile and I don't want to do marching band. No offense, marching band people. But that's what I decided. And then when I started taking dance, I like started watching, like, I, whenever I like do something, I go hard. Like, I commit to it most of the time if I really like it. And so like, I was like, ooh, I want to be a dancer. Like, I want to be a choreographer. I want to like do this. And so I like started watching So You Think You Can Dance and was like becoming obsessed with all of it, right? Then at the same time though, I had been taking a video production class and I really liked like making videos and skits and stuff like that. And so I had gotten a camera with the intention of like building my YouTube more. It was like a Sony A57. And um, yeah, and then I got out of that video production class because I had to take um, a Spanish class and I didn't get into that until my sophomore year yeah most people take spanish their freshman and sophomore i couldn't get in my freshman year because i was like um out of boundaries student because i wasn't boundary for that school whatever anyways so to, i was taking dance and spanish at the same time and i had this video camera that i had bought my freshman year and i was like wasn't really taking i wasn't really doing that much youtube videos anymore I kind of like fell out of love for it um and so i started taking pictures with the camera and my Spanish teacher, her name's Renee Clancy. If you want to look her up, she's amazing. She's a wedding photographer. And I kind of like had asked her for some advice because I didn't know much about taking pictures, but I knew I wanted to try Lightroom and like editing and all that jazz. And so she sat down with me one day after school and I showed her some pictures I'd just taken of like my friends. And she was like, I think you have an eye for this. And like when you're young like that and an adult that you admire and respect like tells you they think you have it, like they think you could do it. I mean, I like that's better than money because like, I think it's, I don't know, like you can have all the gear in the world, but if like no one thinks, like if no one gives you that like reassurance that like, oh, you could actually do something with it. It's so hard to keep pushing when you're starting from zero. So like that gave me the boost. And then she would start taking me to weddings to assist her. And like, she would just pay me like a little lump sum. And then she would also like hire me to like babysit her kids. And so I was able to really make money like working for her to put towards my photography. So like she super, super helped me, forever grateful, love her to death. Um, yeah, and then like by time, I don't know, I just started like playing with it and like practicing with my friends. And because I was dancing at the time, I loved it, combined the love for both things. Instagram was becoming a thing. Like I graduated high school in 2015. And so like my sophomore year was 2013. I think Instagram came out in like 2012 or something like that so it was really starting to become like everyone had instagram it was like the cool thing and so i made a photography page for my pictures and then just that like i was not an overnight success by any means like that was such a slow build like i really worked on that instagram for years like for so like i worked so hard it took me so long just to get to twenty thousand. i feel like it wasn't until i got to like one hundred and fifty thousand that it became easier i'm gonna keep stretching my feet while i talk but yeah once i got to 150,000, things started like going on their own i would say almost like i started making the for you page and stuff like that and the algorithm got better and whatnot anyways so yeah that's kind of like the brief of my story and then people are always like how do you get in touch or how did you get working with master ballet academy well i started working with their dancers when i was like i don't know 16 17 let's just say 17, I turned 27 in June. So I was like freelancing for them, for their dancers for so long. Um, I wasn't really working for them specifically until we, they did this event called the Grand Prix Intensive and it was Liberty Weekend, they still do it. I think this year it's finally back in the hotel, hopefully, cause it's way more fun that way. But um, yeah, they started doing this thing called the Grand Prix Intensive and you know, I had like a decent following. I probably had like 20, 25,000 followers at the time, but I was still like, I had just barely turned 18 or 19. I can't remember if it was 2015 or 2016. I was either just barely, um, I was either just barely 18 or 19. And yeah, and so like, I was a photographer for the event and I did like a bunch of mini shoots. And I had made more that weekend than I had made in the year before that because there were so many people in one spot at one time. And before that, it was just all like individually hired shoots. Like I had never done like big group shoots or anything like that. 
So it worked out really well and I got connected with them like more closely through that. And then of course I'm working with so many of their dancers. I start going to the Nutcrackers just to watch them, spring shows, etc. I would go to the studio with Amber and help her film content. I don't know. The thing is like, ooh, yeah, this does look nice. I do like these shoes. Ooh, wait, wait, why is that kind of good? For me, for me, not for normal people. Yeah, wait, these shoes are good. Okay, Jamie, I see the vision now. I kind of didn't like fully love them when she put them on me in the store, but now that they're like on my feet, they're kind of everything. Anyways, so I would say that, that was a long story short, but that was a pretty long explanation. But yeah, everything just happened over time and very naturally. Um, me and Swavamir both really like benefit each other in what we do. So it's a very symbiotic relationship, I would say. Hello, sorry. I will read some more of the comments. Um, these are the stream points and a glass stream points. Oh, hi, Abigail. It's been so long. I think me and Abigail's first shoot was, was it the GPI? It might've been the GPI. It's cool too, because one of the things that I love about the fact that I started so young, here's the thing. I didn't really have like that much of a young adulthood because, well, I was, I mean, I did. I gave myself some breaks, but I worked full time during college on photography. So like, you know, my friends are going out. I can't, I have a photo shoot at 8am the next day. I'm kind of grateful for that because I think I got into way less trouble than I would have. But I've, I've been working nonstop since I was like, I mean, honestly, since I was 12, I started babysitting when I was 12, but I've been working nonstop since I was like, really like 15. And I'm just now kind of, I wouldn't say slowing down because I'm not slowing down, but giving myself more breaks and more chill time. But anyways, my point with that was, the thing I love about starting young is that, for example, Abigail, who just popped on my TikTok, I, the first time I worked with her was probably like eight or nine years ago. Like, it's cool because I get to watch so many of these kids like, grow up and follow their dreams and like do their thing and whatnot. It's really cool. So we can say that you watch Mel and Tessa. Yeah, I didn't work. I didn't work with Tessa that much when she was younger. I think I really only shot her for like NBA things specific, but Melanie, the first time I shot her was at the first GPI. So I have pictures of Melanie. Actually, let me go grab my other phone. I'll show you some pictures from Melanie's first shoot. testament to the fact how much we've both grown because even just like my angles I'm not going to show you like the really bad ones but my angles on some of these I'm like oh no how did I do that okay let's see here there's a couple folders oh yeah <laughs> okay I think this is from the first one ah uh, no wait that would have been the second year because it has two backdrop colors hold on let me see what I can find unless let me see if the outside ones are in here too. Then this is the right folder. It's loading. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go. I have to show it to both cameras. So that was at like, it, was it the first or the second GPI? I can't tell. Maybe this was the second GPI. Look at baby Melanie. I can't, so precious. I just need to skip <laughs> bad ones. But like, it's nowadays, like I look at these and like, I wasn't as attentive to detail back then, obviously, cause I was still like kind of just starting. But um, like this one, like nowadays, the, I, if a dancer did that, I'd be like, okay, try again, push over your box, you know, shoulders down, look straight up, don't look away from the camera. Like there's corrections that I would see immediately now. But back then it's so different. Like when you're first starting, you're it's so hard to focus on all of the details at once. Now it's just like second nature. But yeah, I think I'll try to find a baby picture of Tessa in here. We love your progress. Thank you. Progress is so fun. I like making progress and things, which is also why I'm like trying to take more dance classes and like actually get better now because I think it's fun to progress. Okay, I think I know 
We do like summer intensive advertising photos. So I think that those would be in the NBA folder, the ones with Tessa. Let me just try to find summer. Oh, here we go. Class photo. Would it be the 2020 ones? Let me see. I think there's a couple of Eliana in here too. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, this is so cute. Yeah, these are adorbs. Okay, one sec. Hmm. <laughs> there's lots of baby ones in here. Okay, here. I do not remember the name of the girl on the left because I think she left the year after, but Melanie is on well, Melanie's on the left when I show it on here. Her little attitude. Um, okay, I, what time is it? Mm, I only have this studio for like 20 more minutes. Do, do, do. Oh, here's baby Maya with baby Cruz. I mean, it was 2020, so it was only four years ago, but still, they look so young. Oh, little Isabel. I can't. She's so precious. Miss that child. They moved back to Florida because all their family's there, but... I wish they'd stayed. Here's little Taylor. And here's little Eliana. <laughs> like Slay Queen. Look at that split. Okay, let me see if there's any Tessas in here. I'm pretty sure there's at least unless There's not. Was she not there that day? Hold on. Hold on. I have the year before as well. Class. Oh, stop. Little Melanie was Jolyn. Precious. Sorry if this is getting boring. I the numbers just dropped so much, but this is fun. Just a few more, and then <laughs> I can't. It's so cute. Too precious. Sorry, just trying to find. So this was 2019. I know there's a picture of Tessa in here somewhere. There has to be. There has to be. Okay, while well, those load, I'll answer more questions. Oh, wait, is she in this one? What the heck? Where is she? Here's a little summer. Doing her little split. Very cute sums. Miss Jaden, who dances professionally at Vagana Vanel. Slay Jaden. I that would be so weird if I not have a picture of Tessa. No, because every kid came up and did an individual. Dead. What the, oh yeah, here's Tessa. It's from the back. Sorry, Tessa. I don't know why that's the only photo I have. I need to go back and look through those pictures again because I'm sure there's so many in there that would be a fun little throwback. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Anyways, um, I'll do just like a couple more things with the point shoes and then I'm gonna bounce. How much storage did your phone have? So, I have three phones and all of them have the max storage. I think the new ones. I think they're two terabyte. And then I also have 10 terabytes in iCloud. <laughs> I literally, no, no, this one, this one only has one terabyte. So all my phones have one terabyte and then I have like 10 terabytes in iCloud. Okay, let me do a couple more. I didn't realize I was that close. Let me do a couple more things and then I need to pack it up because this studio rental ends at 2 12 and I have Pilates. Okay, let me try some like, ooh, my feet are not warm anymore. I'm trying really hard to not jump into those. Working on it, it's progress. It's work in progress. Mm. No. And then like moving both feet at the same time thing is not the easiest for me. Getting that front foot out, but not like. There we go. 
be worse. Could be better. I do really like these new shoes though. Very slay. Hello. Okay. Let me do a quick little scan through the comments and then I got a bounce. About the heart. Wait. Oh, can you make a heart, please? Okay. YouTube comments are getting weird. <laughs> are you going to YGP finals? Yes, I'll be there. I'll be around. I'll be doing, I'm not working for YGP at all, but like, I'll just be around doing pictures. One of my really close friends, Jordan, works for YGP, so I'll probably hang out with her a bit. Yeah, but I'm in town, so I'll be there. Tips for adults wanting to get to ballet. Find a studio that has an adult class and then just kind of tell them where you're at. Be like, listen, I have never done ballet before. I'm really interested in starting. I know it's gonna be hard for me, but like whatever easiest class you can put me in, please put me there. Honestly, like most studios will not let you dance in like the children's classes, which makes sense. Like it's for safety purposes, but um, some places do have like an absolute beginner introduction. The other thing you can do to help yourself is if you wanna go in with like a little bit of a head start, Order a ballet bar off Amazon, go on YouTube, and type in basics of ballet. Like, there are so many channels that that's all they do is they make content that's like, this is first position, this is second position. Like, if you can go into a class that's for beginners already knowing what first, second, fourth, fifth position are, your life is going to be so much easier. Because, like, then when they say, okay, second position, and you can already put your arms there, they can come over and fix your arms instead of trying to tell you what the arms are. Like, set yourself up for success by going in with, like, a little bit of knowledge already. If you go in with nothing, it's going to be so much harder because ballet is, like, one of the most detail-oriented sports, and there's a million details to try to get. So, make your life as easy as possible. Um... I do ballet and Pilates, yeah, that's pretty much it. I used to run. I don't think my knees are built for running, so I stopped running. I was getting some knee pain and it made the dancing harder, so I was like, well, I really like dancing. I don't even like running. Sometimes I'll walk at like an incline on my treadmill if I feel like I haven't like got all my energy out that day, but that's about it, honestly. Yeah, okay, time check. Okay, we're still fine. <laughs> can I put on both types of shoes? The only thing is my feet are so different. So you're not gonna be able to see a difference because like if I put like the new shoe on my good foot, then that shoe is gonna look better. Same with like the old shoe. Um, sorry, these comments are going quick. Hi, Ariana on YouTube. Hi, Ashley. It was very lovely meeting you last week. Um, I met some people at the master ballet adult class which by the way if you're in arizona and you want to take an adult class try the mba one again like it's not a beginner class but if you go in with a bit of knowledge and you like tell them hey i don't really know a lot they'll put you in between people who like do know more and it'll be really helpful also i would take michael's class on thursday if you're a beginner because he's easier suavic often just teaches the combos that he gives to the pre-pro kids and i'm like my brain hurts. No, he's like really good too, but like you don't want to take Swavik's class if you know nothing. You're gonna have a bad time <laughs> or a good time. That's just really struggling. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay. Oh no, now the YouTube comments are getting weird. Please stop. Um, how many shoes have you been in? Only two, like only one style actually. It's just the stream points. But um, I've gotten a few pairs just to break them in different ways and like see what works best for my foot and all that jazz. Oh, frick. I forgot which one was left and which one was right and I was gonna mark them. I'm gonna have to figure that out all over again on both shoes because I did not mark either one, that's okay. I'm starting point. Soon, I'm 19, sorry. Congratulations, very exciting. Okay, let me put my phones. Okay, like two more questions and then I gotta go. Thank you, Jay Green. That was very sweet. You two people are so nice. They send me money in the comments, like what? Um, 
stretches or exercises for back pain i got you okay one of my favorites and i know that this one's super basic wait i'm gonna put my socks on because i don't want my feet my feet are struggling um that's all i'll say i'll show you guys one of my favorite back stretches for back pain because i have that quite often um i am close to 27. some people say i look 50. some people say i look 12. i'm confused and i don't care at the same time okay so one of my favorites is like you take your knee up like this and you twist and you just look side and then you just do that on both sides and then my other favorite is like going into candlestick like very close to the camera to be doing this but like one of these and just like letting your legs hang over and it just stretches your whole back so i would say those are my faves i am wearing lululemon um dance studio pants at the moment can i do a grand butt mom okay yeah sure <laughs> it's not gonna be good i haven't like done anything today except for improv so i guess i'm taking class so it's a bit rough right now okay one of my next going to mba i am going back for their spring show which is memorial day weekend so actually not too far from now thank you someone said my soda shot was pretty good in adult class thank you very much i was trying <laughs> i don't know why but I feel like my soda shot was like better when Amber did that video with me ages ago than it is now. It's fine. Yeah, um, dance photography is my job. Dance is my hobby. Yes, I am in New York now. You don't have to be flexible to start ballet. No. People, like, I don't, these questions are just like, is it too late? No, just do it. Like, just try. Like, are you dead? No, then it's not too late. Stop being silly. Hi, Kelsey on YouTube. Hello, Eleanor. Any class recommendations? I have a whole um, playlist on my TikTok. I have to stop saying though what my favorite classes to go to are because then they get really busy. <laughs> Abigail, I know, it's wild. I like, it's so nuts because some of these kids I've been working with since they were 10, but I started working with them when I was still a child. So it's like, now they're in professional careers and I don't feel that old. <laughs> have I ever been injured? No, like weirdly enough, I am like not someone who gets hurt. Like I don't get hurt. God, where's some wood I can knock on? I like don't get hurt. Like I never broke anything as a kid. And I was not like a gentle kid. I was not, me and my brother, rough house. We played in mud. We jumped off of trampolines. Like it's a miracle. It really is, trust me. Definitely faked a couple injuries when I was little because I wanted attention, but didn't actually ever get injured. How many pirouettes can I do? Not a lot right now. Okay, my studio rental is about to end. I gotta go. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Um, I, I don't give out photo shoots for free, but if you want to book a photo shoot, there's a form on my website you can fill out. And yeah, I will send over pricing information. Is Audrey camera shy? Maybe. Um, I don't know. I think like a lot of times she's just doing her own thing in the back of the room. I don't like... I try not to force the kids to come on camera if they don't want to come on camera. Sometimes I'll like give them crap, but like, I don't, like if they don't want to be filmed all the time then they just want to stay in the back, that's so fine. Like, so fine. Photo shoot with Taylor once she's healed, yes. Okay, gotta go. Bye guys. Hi Maisie. Okay, yes. Uh, okay, great. Sorry, bye guys. <laughs> it's like, then everyone wants